In today's lecture, we will very quickly see an Excel sheet that has been prepared for the calculation of bolt capacity. We have already discussed the manual calculations in our previous lecture and the same will be discussed where we will see the calculation of bolt capacity in our Excel sheet. So this is a simple Excel sheet that has been prepared where these colors in the somewhat red boxes okay these cells which has been marked with red color we have to input the value where is the cells which has been marked in green color these cells are referenced to other cells and the values in these cells are calculated automatically based on the data that we have provided so let's see here first first what we have done is we have to provide the diameter of bolt and to provide the diameter of bolt a drop down list has been created where you can select the different diameter options are available 8 10 12 16 20 24 and 32 if you want to add any other diameter then you can do so by working out in the excel so first we will give the value of the diameter of bolt that we intend to use and similarly below that another drop down list has been created where we can insert the value of the grade of the bolt so first we have to provide these two data diameter of bolt and grade of bolt and using this data afterwards this ultimate stress of bolt and the yield stress of bolt will be calculated we have already discussed what is the ultimate stress of bolt if we are choosing a 8.8 .8 diameter or 8.8 .8 grade bolt then the ultimate stress is this first value of 8 into 100 so this comes out to be 800 newton per millimeter squared and the yield stress will be this 800 value divided by 0 0.8 that means 0 0.8 so this you get to be 640 newton per millimeter squared so this is just a refresher we have already discussed this now after giving the bolt details then we have to insert the plate details also we have to provide the ultimate stress of plate and also the yield stress of plate as we discussed in our last lecture this data is available in table 1 of IS 800 you can look there for different values of the ultimate stress and yield stress and in that table you can also find the IS code for the different grades of plate that we are using you can see the details in those IS code so after providing these data now first we will do shear capacity calculation now for shear capacity calculation first we have to know whether we are working with a single shear or double shear so again for shear type a drop down list has been created here you can select either single shear or you can select double shear now you can see the option here if you select single shear here then this application or this option is not available that means let's see here if we select double shear here then we have to give the location of shear plane also but if it is a single shear then we are not concerned with where the shear planes are located so let us say that we selected double shear now after selecting double shear we have to locate the shear plane the options we have is either both the planes are lying in the threaded portion of the bolt or only one shear plane is lying in the threaded portion and other in the sank that also can be selected from this drop down list both shear planes in thread or one shear plane in thread and the other in the sank so after selecting those options finally the shear capacity of our bolt will be calculated here shear capacity of bolt now we are calculating the shear capacity for double shear case in which one shear plane is in thread and the other is in the sank we get the value to be 132.24 kN you can check this value and compare it with the value that we obtained during manual calculation these are almost the same so this is the shear capacity of one bolt now then we come to the bearing capacity calculation for bearing capacity calculation we know that our design bearing capacity of bolt is given by this formula here 2.5 kb dt of u over the partial safety factor now let's see what factors are needed first we need kb d 
T EF U and gamma M B. The value of gamma M B equals to 1.25 is already given. We will see that. This EF U represents, as we discussed, minimum value between the ultimate stress of bolt and ultimate stress of plate. And this T value we have given here. And this diameter of bolt we have given here. Now, one thing left to calculate is KV. So we know that KV is the minimum of these four values E over 3D naught, P over 3D naught minus 0.25, FUV over FU and 1. So to calculate KV, we need some additional values here. We need the value of this E, which is the end distance of bolts. We need the value of D0, which is the whole diameter. And we need the value of P, which is the pitch distance for bolts. We have already given these values, FUV and FU above. FUV is here and FU is here. So now we have to give some data to calculate KV. So we have assumed the distance diameter of sorry we have assumed the diameter of hole to be 18 mm please verify that this diameter of bolt is in accordance with the sorry this diameter of hole is in accordance with the diameter of bolt that we have used here and again you can find or you can see what diameter to diameter of hole to be used for any particular diameter of bolt from our table uh, i don't exactly remember the table number but we have discussed in our previous lectures from the same table of IS 804 so give the value of D naught here give the value of pitch distance end distance and the thickness of plate we have also discussed in detail about how this T is calculated do it manually and then give the value of T here now after having all these values finally calculations are performed first for KV the minimum of these four value comes out to be 0.55 and then using these values the bearing capacity is calculated here so now we have obtained the bearing capacity and the shearing capacity of one bolt now to find the critical action on bolt we have discussed that whichever value is lesser is the critical value here we can see that the shearing capacity is larger compared to the bearing capacity so the critical action on bolt is bearing and the bolt capacity finally is the lower of these two values 132 and 86 so 86 is the lower value and hence our bolt capacity comes out to be 86.24 kN so in this way you can prepare an excel sheet for calculation of bolt capacity and accordingly give your values for which you want to calculate the bolt capacity So this is about an, a simple excel sheet that we have prepared for the calculation of bolt capacity. From our next lecture onwards, we will start with another connector that is we will start discussion with about welds and some parameters related to weld. We will also be looking at the coral provisions regarding weld and then we will go through some design of some simple structural connections. So stay tuned and keep watching our channel. Thank you.